Hey guys, this is Chubbs from the LPD forum, and I just saw where um, Silent Bob had posted where he wasn't real sure how to uh, how to use Audacity in order to uh, create ringtones, and so I figured I would go ahead and and uh, just create this video to kind of give you an overview of how to do that. So first thing you want to do is just go ahead and pull up your internet browser, and of course um, just search for Audacity as I will do here. And um, once you search for that, go ahead and just go to an audacity.sourceforge.net and just on the main page just click download audacity for microsoft windows should be version 1.2.6 i believe and um, should be a link right there that i'm about to highlight and it's just 2.1 megabytes so it's not a big file just go ahead and download that and i'll go ahead and download it here well, actually, I already have it downloaded for the sake of this video. But, um, and um, you'll also need the lame MP3 encoder later on, but just ignore that. For now, I'm highlighting it, but ignore that. Just download Audacity, and then once you get that, just double click the, in, uh, the installation icon that has now appeared. Once it's downloaded, and just go through the um, setup wizard and, and uh, set it up, install the program, and once it's installed it will create the icon that I will double click here and just double click that and start up the program and once you get in there um, what you'll want to do is pull up the sound file you're wanting to use and for this one just for a song that everybody knows really and I just chose ACDC Thunderstruck and whether you like it or not I'm not real sure but uh, I'll go ahead and you can uh, go through the open menu or you can also just drag drag it from your desktop into the programs I'm doing here. Once you do that it'll load it in just a couple seconds and once the file is loaded you will see it there. It will show the sound waves and such and the volume I guess you could say but what you want to do for ringtones just get about 20 seconds of the file so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and use this little zoom button as I'll do here zoom in I'm just gonna get the very first part of the song you know the sweet guitar part and I'll go ahead and zoom in and down there at the bottom um, I was just highlighting it there earlier it actually shows you the length of time that you have selected um, it'll show you know how long it is in terms of the selection that you've made and to make a selection just simply hold down left click and drag and as you can see there it's about 20 seconds long so I'll play it just to make sure and sounds right so it'll just uh, get that selection so click edit and then go to trim and click trim and it'll trim it down just to what I had selected there so it should just be about 20 seconds and what you'll need to do is click file and then go to export as mp3 but before you can actually export it as an mp3 you'll have to download the lame, lame mp3 encoder that I referred to just a few minutes earlier so on the same download page where you downloaded the actual program click lame mp3 encoder and under the windows sections section click go to the lame download page as I'm highlighting here and once you get there up at the very top where I'm highlighting it should say for audacity on windows click that zip file and download it to your computer and once you download that small file it will appear there as a zip folder so go ahead and uh, go ahead and just unzip that folder and once you have it unzipped as I've already done for this video just pull up the folder just to make sure the files are there and the main file that you will need is this lame under slash enc dot dll file that's the main file for using the lame mp3 encoder you can place that anywhere on your computer and your hard drive anywhere and it should work so go to back to file export as mp3 and let's go ahead and rename that file and this again is a file then export mp3 I'll just rename it to thunderstruck under slash ringtone go ahead and save that and it'll ask you to locate it it's asking me now to locate that uh, lame under slash enc file so click yes locate to the folder that you had unzipped and double click that lame file that it's asking you for and it will export it and that should be your 20 second file you'll need so just go ahead and I'll double click it just to make sure it's correct here it goes <laughs>
there we go 20 seconds 20 second sound file should be all you'll need for a ringtone you can set it any length you want you know if you wanted any any longer than 20 seconds feel free but but um, that's how you create ringtones it's a simple process and it should be all you'll need to do and thank you for watching guys hope this helps you